Good morning and thank you for joining us this 8 a.m. hour. Also ahead, they seem like an unlikely pair. We're learning about a new trend of burgers and wine. That sounds good, mm. right? Thank you, Tampton. All right, it's the hot new food pair that you may find unusual. We're talking about wine and burgers trend. That's coming up next. The smokiness from the beef and the wine just work great together. Okay. With our turkey burger, we, we figured we'll go with the Dama de Toro. It's a nice red wine that'll just cut through the, the, the fat of the turkey. Uh, we have a little provolone in our turkey burger, so it's, it's a little richer. And last, uh, we're, we're doing our uh, Crossing Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you, Linda. As you get ready to spark up the grills this Memorial Day, the All-American Burger has a new sidekick. No, it's not an ice-cold beer. The new trend is a glass of wine. I took a trip over to Bill's Bar and Burger in Rockefeller Center to find out more and get a few tips on making the perfect burger. Bill's Nose Burgers. How do you fit your mouth on this? <laughs> With more than 10 different types on the menu, Bill's Bar and Burger is a foodie fave. Our burger is a, a, a classic pressed hamburger, caramelized, cheese, a little bit of special sauce, and it's just fabulous and juicy. Brett Reisler is the executive chef. He says the secret is in the meat. There's some short rib in there, and there's a little brisket and a couple other secret ingredients we throw in there to make it taste great. The key to this burger is we're going to flip it, and we're going to give it a little press. Really? So that it okay. really adheres to the griddle. So it doesn't get rid of the juices, make no, it too dry? No, the meat is so beautiful that it's just going to caramelize inside. You're okay. going to see when we bite into it, it's just going to flow. See how wow. beautiful and brown? We're going to put a piece of cheese on there. Okay. And the secret to a real great cheeseburger, don't tell anybody, Lisa, is getting it to melt properly. And if we've done everything we're supposed to do, well, we're going to take this. We're going to take Oh, look at that. So we have our burgers here. So you're saying not beer with it. Yeah, you know, you need something a little different this day and age. Something a little more fun, a little more uh, esoteric, if you will. Okay. <laughs> Anybody can do beer and burgers. We're thinking, why not wine and burgers? With our brief burger, we're going to do the, the George Dubuff Beaujolais Village. The smokiness from the beef and the wine just work great together. Okay. With our turkey burger, we, we figured we'll go with the Dama de Toro. It's a nice red wine that'll just cut through the, the, the fat of the turkey. Uh, we have a little provolone in our turkey burger, so it's, it's a little richer. And last, uh, we're, we're doing our uh, Crossing Sauvignon Blanc with our veggie burger. It's a uh, citrusy, little lemon, a little uh, grapefruit in there, uh, and it's great for, for, for an afternoon out in a barbecue. So a toast to good food. And then top it off with a glass of wine. All right. Cheers. And for between $10 and $15 a bottle, you can't go wrong. That's living. <laughs> and that was one delicious You were enjoying burger. yourself, right? It was delicious. And get this Bill's Bar Burger. They're opening up their third location next month, Harris Atlantic City. Of course, for more information, log on to our website, pix11.com. I always did burgers. the I always did the wine and burgers. You so. always did. Yeah. You're I, always sophisticated. I guess I'm like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're very cool to Thank us. Thank you.